a terrorist. We are talking about Gurpant Man Singh uh, Pannun case. There has been a big update that has now come in as, uh, however, investigation in this case is concerned, India has been fully cooperating with the authorities in the United States of America. So what is now being said on part of India uh, that the accused in this case who has been detained and the individual who has been identified as CC1, he has been detained, he is said to be the mastermind and he is no longer employed by the government. There are high level inquiry panel that has also been formed through top sources that what we are learning uh, that has been as far as uh, this development that is now taking place. So India telling the US, uh, Rishabh, that CC1 is detained and is no longer a government official. Well, definitely, Amita. Uh, this is from the press conference of the United States uh, State Department where uh, Matthew Miller, the spokesperson of State Department, says that the U.S. is satisfied with uh, the way India is investigating the case, the way India is cooperating in the case. Also goes on to say that the uh, high-level committee to investigate this matter is right now in the United States and that shows that India is serious about it. He goes on to say that CC1, the Indian official, quote unquote, uh, who has been named in, indicted in uh, just, uh, Department of Justice document, as per United States, uh, India has detained him and has removed him from his official position. In a way, you know, there is a contrast between uh, India's response to Canada and India's response to United States. In Canada, where we have seen that there have been rebuttals after rebuttals and uh, very uh, harshly worded statements uh, against Canada share with US, given that there were a lot of back channel talks and the news only came to, uh, to light uh, in public after the indictment in uh, court, uh, India is now uh, going ahead and cooperating with the United States. And that clearly showcases that if Canada would have behaved maturely, India would have cooperated for sure. But the way Canada has behaved well, has India actually... Well, India is ready India. to cooperate, Rishabh. Isn't that so? I mean, for the time, ever since the statements first started to come in on part of the uh, Canadian Prime Minister, India has all been asking that if you are seeking cooperation, you will get cooperation. But we need certain evidences and a concrete proof to talk about as far as the claims that has been made by the Canadian authorities. But this is coming across as a big development as far as in the another terrorist, uh, Pannun case, that, however, India has informed the U.S. of uh, the detention of CC1, this individual, quote-unquote, who has been now indicted for, uh, uh, as far as in this case is concerned, of uh, Pannon, as India has also informed the U.S. that CC1 is no longer employed by the government and high-level inquiry committee established is in response to the accusation is still looking into the individual's other so-called connections. Go ahead. Can I ask you about the meeting that you had with the India Advisory Committee? Sure. So we, um, uh, the meeting that occurred yesterday, we updated, we being the, the U.S. government broadly, uh, updated uh, mem members of the Committee of Inquiry about the investigation that the United States has been conducting. We've received an update from them on the investigation that they have been conducting. It was a productive meeting, and I will uh, leave it at that. Did they also inform you about some of the actions they might have taken? Uh, they did inform us that the um, uh, individual who was named in the Justice Department indictment is no longer uh, an employee of the Indian government. Uh, are you satisfied with the cooperation with the Indian government? Uh, we, uh, uh, we are satisfied with the cooperation. We continue, it continues to be an ongoing process. We continue to work with them on that, but we do appreciate the cooperation and we appreciate them updating us. Well, this is an ongoing process as far as satisfied, as far as the investigation that has been carried out by India. That has been the response coming on part of the United States. However, Canada continues to remain in denial mode. Rishabh, thank you very much for the moment. We will be back on the other side of a very short break.